We experiencing technical difficulties again? There we That's go. That's a lot of pixie dust. <laughs> that it is. <laughs> or is it or is it gold dust? I'm not sure, really, in all honesty. I wouldn't say it's more pixie ducks, but I'm not sure. Pigsy dust? I, I heard you say pig. I said I was trying to say pixie. I guess ah. pig just what decided to come out of my mouth instead. <laughs> uh. Hey, folks. Welcome back to the Kingdom Hearts Let's Plays. We're currently in... Dream drop distance, and the last stream we decided to tackle Prankster's Paradise instead of tackling the grid first because I really wanted the elephant. And here we are, we're on the grid. <laughs> uh, so we're jumping straight into it. Wouldn't it be dropping straight into it? I guess so. Dropping in. We're dropping into a squid. Looks like an octa rock. In a weird way, yeah. Like if an octa rock had like sickle arms. If you could even call those that. You come here to wish us good luck on the stream? Say hi, MJ. Hi. And that one's down. You shy, Emma's? Our first gold rank. <laughs> oh. huh? <clears throat> what? This outfit? Hey, I know where I am. Huh? Whoa! What is that? Is it weird I like this version of the song over the one that we got in Kingdom Hearts 2? I do what? I'm talking about... The Grid over Space Paranoids. Huh. It is kind of funky in a way. I forget, why was there such a big deal with Daniel saying the word funky? I don't know. Because I remember in like the Del Mar show, he was like, he was saying like funky and then he said, yes, I said funky, shut up. I don't know. 
I honestly could not explain that to you. You know what the Yogi Ram kind of reminds me of? What's that? Weird Ear from Pokemon Legends Arceus. Kind of does in a weird way. It's kind of funny you mention that because I just recently started uh, playing through uh, Legends Arceus myself. You have more to say on that? I mean... I've been enjoying it really well. I think my favorite part is more or less about the battles than anything, because... The battles are so quick and easy to interact with, but also, too, being able to fight three Pokémon at the same time is pretty terrifying. But I love it. Yeah, you don't really get the opportunity to... It's very one-sided. When it comes to multi-battles. What do you mean by it's one-sided? It's not like modern games and where if you run into more than one Pokémon at once, you can send out multiple. Oh. Well, that's alright with me. Because in all honesty, that's just sort of makes it interesting. In all honesty. Someone just had woke up. Hi, Daniel. Hang on. Okay. Hello. Sleep. What? I'm sleep. Sleep. There you go. Is he saying soup? Sup. <coughs> oh, well, yes, it is supper time. Thank you for asking. <laughs> <coughs> oh, you're doing the Donald Duck. Okay, I get you. It now took me a little bit. <laughs> wow. Also, is. Oh, okay. Yeah, we're in the grid. Yeah. Actually, I'm trying to think here. Because you're like in dream worlds and stuff, right? Correct. So, this is in the same grid that's like in Radiant Garden. Correct, no. it's not the same. That space paranoids is a replica. Okay. Yeah, so in Kingdom Hearts 2, it was explained, mostly kind of grazed over, but it was explained that Master Yang, or not Master Yang said, uh, Ansem the Wise somehow got oh. into the world where this is this, and he was okay, able uh to make a copy, thus using it onto his computer. Okay, um, I'm, I'm gonna let you finish, but seeing that you brought up Ansem, Daniel, quick question. Yeah? You think Ansem looks like Jesus? No. <laughs> he looks more like, uh... Hold on, I'm trying to think of a joke here. Bear with me. <laughs> I, I was I was being serious because when we were looking at the cutscenes for Birth by Sleep, I was like, okay, why does why does Ansem remind me of Jesus? I mean, I can understand to comparison. I can understand and see the comparison that you're talking about. Uh, I think just because he has more of a bleach blonde hair and such, it. Uh, doesn't really, uh, 
I don't see it as much, I think. You know, oh, pardon me. Excuse you. While we're, while we're paused, I'm going to bring back an oldie. Hey, no. Google. What's the current temperature in Crossville, Tennessee? In Crossville, it's currently 54 degrees. Oh, it actually got warmer. That's not bad, actually. Maybe I don't have to worry about warming up the car now, so. That'd be good. <laughs> you glad I did that for you? Yeah, thank you. Well, easy, Grover. <laughs> Grover's like, I just got up too. Yay. I don't know if he heard him shaking his head or not. Ooh. I don't know if the uh, mic heard it, but... Oh, I think he wants you, Chris. <laughs> I I think he wants... Hey, you can show off You can show off Grover instead of me showing off MJ. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Oh, easy, Grover. Uh oh. <laughs> what? What's uh oh? I don't like uh ohs. I was gonna say Grover got comfy. <laughs> oh. He's our little dream eater. <laughs> don't worry, oh. Grover. After I get done with the stream, I'll be downstairs. <laughs> Mm. He's such a baby. <laughs> there you go. I forgot. Is there a dog like, um, dream? I mean, eater? there is the meow wow. Yeah, technically that's considered a dog. Really? Mm-hmm. I thought it was more and... of a cat. That's why I named it Stimpy. According to <laughs> what I... I read, it is technically a dog. Oh. And I named him Beans. I still prefer naming him Steampy. <laughs> of course. <laughs> I might have the Flounder Meow be named Stimpy because the colors are rather closer to it than the Meow Wow. I guess, but it was more of like the overall kind of like body shape and the derpiness of Meow Wow. Why named that? Oh, better yet. Uh, I don't know. Like, what if we named it Stinky? Stinky? You know, Stimpy's son. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, gosh. So in other words, you're calling him a piece of poop or a vapor of mist. A fart. Something came out of my butt. <laughs> Memories. <laughs> Well, talk about a good way to wake up when you're talking about stinky farts and butts, huh? <laughs> okay, me and Grover are going to go downstairs to try and wake up and cuddle and all that. Okay, then. All right. I'll talk oh, by to the you. Oh, go by ahead. the way, Daniel, I'm going to send you the image of what exactly that brand was. Because the one you sent me over phone message was not it. Oh, I... you know, actually, I could I could share it in the call context and Chris could show it to you. I don't have my glasses is on. Okay. okay, I see what you mean. It's more of a pinkish type. Oh, I... Well, not even just that. It's it's meant to be like uh it's it's specifically soft licorice instead of the you know Rubber texture. Yeah. Okay. Sorry about that. I think You're I probably would have liked that better than I would of the actual licorice that we've got. I like that, but I like the licorice. Ooh. I'm not a big fan of our licorice per se. Well, then again, any type of licorice, like even, even, um, even um, black licorice. No, uh, Twizzlers. With their multi flavors, I still do not like it. Hmm. I, I'm just not a fan of it. That's like the one candy aside from candy corn, but that's almost universal to a degree. Yeah, that's a whole other barrel of ales. But uh, in terms of everyday candy, that is like the one candy 
that I'm not a big fan of. Like, I would be like, absolutely not. <laughs> Candy corn's more of a decorative thing. It is. I mean, there are some people who like it, but I, I don't like it any either way. Yeah, I mean, I'm okay with having it in small amounts, but there was a time where, growing up, I basically was stuck with, like, this entire jar of candy corn oh, and candy pumpkins, no. and you could tell I, from the way my tone is, I grew out of the taste of it rather Relatively fast. quickly. <laughs> uh, I think another candy, and it's really not even a candy either, would be uh, Peeps. Uh, the sweet marshmallowy stuff and everything. Yeah, I'm okay with the minis because they're smaller. I think the smaller ones would have been better. I think. I think Strong Bad would have uh, anger management over that. Because <laughs> you know how many are just many are versions of, of already by size food. food. <laughs> the ponders of warranting. Okay, grow his panties, so I think he's thirsty, so. Alright then. Wow. Get the boy a drink. Okay, I'll talk to you later, and I'll talk to you uh, tomorrow night. Okay. Alright, bye bye. Come bye bye. Here. Bye. Excuse me. Yes, yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right, that was a nice little interruption. All right. <laughs> Whoa! Oh man! Identify. He gets electrocuted. Program. I uh, don't, I don't think so. Handles, but the name's Sora. Verifying handle, Sora. Handle not found. Stray program recognized. Hey! Wha- uh. Isolating for quarantine. Whoa there! That is so unfriendly! Okay, I, I couldn't tell if it got me turned around or not. So what exactly are these guys called? Um... Like, you have the bestiary on you, do you not? Yeah. I'm sure they're labeled- after this, after this fight, we could have a look. I'm pretty sure they're labeled under the characters rather than enemies, considering the fact that they're not exactly Dream Eaters. So let's see. Uh, probably under reports... Character files... Grid oh, is... the grid's not on there. Okay. I guess that will be unlocked once we beat this area, I guess. That's the only thing I could think of. Because in all honesty, I don't remember what they're technically called. Yes, that keyblade definitely looks like a potion. What? You got a potion from that chest and it displayed a keyblade icon. Oh, okay. Dulcet fragment, or is it figment? So I imagine the highlight reel is going to combine this with the remaining portions of Prankster's Paradise. More than likely, yeah. Okay, it ain't sucking those up. I was hoping it would, but I guess not.
Tron. He's alive. Look at that boy's weapon. It's different. But it's something you programmed, right, Dad? Huh? No, Sam. No, I've never seen it. I like how even the Keyblades look different in this world. <laughs> what was that about? Hey, huh? That weapon. Can I see it? Oh. This is just incredible. What a program. The weapon and the wielder. Program? Not me. This is called a Keyblade, and I'm Sora. I'm Sam. So this is like Tron's world, right? I'm Kanye Tron. West! <laughs> I, uh, yeah, I met him and stuff. Listen, that program you just fought was Tron. What? That was Tron? Tron used to be a good friend. Together, we created this place, the grid. It was something, man. But then, correct me if I'm clue. wrong, but I, I heard through Tron the grapevine that there is going to be another Tron movie so in the works. That has clue been a major talks for at least, I want to say, two or three years. That's the thing about like, ever since that they started the project of the uh, cycle ride, they have been in the talks about wanting to make a third entry, but so far nothing has been actually been progressively been done, and so far there hasn't been like a major movement in terms of like announcements and stuff. Like there's not a big promotion for it yet. Still, wasn't there something leaked in regards to Tron with the Lego company? If there was, I'm not familiar with it. Again, I still need to watch the original Tron. I'm sure there might be some reason for why a third one would be necessary, but in all honesty, after how it ended in the second one, I'm not sure if a third one is needed. He's a program after all. He'd be methodical like that. But then again, that's the same reason for why I'm surprised to hear that there's going to be a Toy Story 5. Tron's source code back from Clue. Why won't you let it die? Seriously, I mean, I get why. For marketing and capitalism and everything else that we want to throw in as a joke. But still to a point. It is like the way the story has ended. Even Pixar's like, why won't you let it go? Is this just going to be the new land before time or some shit? Oh, please don't. What are you going to do if Rinsler attacks again? If we're in a hurry, we have to take care of Rinsler. Like, first. what more can you do with the characters? The two of us can handle him. Yeah, it's like at this point, all that's left is Buzz, uh, Jesse, Rex, Mr. Ham. and Mrs. Potato Head, Ham, the aliens. Maybe Bullseye. And if you pull Woody into the mix, yeah. it's only going to make things even more weird. Relax, Sam. Yeah, especially seeing that he Sora went to stay with Bo Peep by the end of the fourth film. You and Spoilers! Me <laughs> okay. But yeah, the Come other on. stuff... Be careful. Frozen Be 3, I just... I think that the, the franchise has just run its course. Right. Wait, there's talk so about Frozen 3. You ready, Sora? And yeah. uh, Inside Out and Zootopia 2. Clue should be at the helm of his battleship the They were revealed the same <laughs> time as Toy Story 5. Zootopia, I feel like, is the only promising one. Yeah, Zootopia is one thing. Cause I mean, I've wa I ha I need I still need to watch it actually and all it's the the Zootopia Plus. A keyblade. But still, it's like, at least that has promising details and stuff. Everything What's else... What's the uh... third film gonna be about? Elsa and Anna's children? Oh dear lord almighty.
And then Zootopia, just because of the way that it's built up, I feel like, like, I could see it either way. Personally, I would have had a TV series or like a mini series akin to Monsters at Work. But I'm not too miffed by the whole idea of a sequel. Yeah. It's promising. I mean, then again, I don't think anyone ever has a problem with seeing more of Zootopia. Either way you look at it. Either from a furry perspective or just an anime lover. Or not... Anime. Anime lover! <laughs> wow! <laughs> wow! Gosh! Animation! <laughs> Animation! Gosh! I am terrible! Uh. Chris, I think you're mixing Zootopia up with Beastars! <laughs> <laughs> I mean, considering how it is, it's almost the same except different predators! <laughs> oh, that was rich. Oh gosh, oh, I've only God. seen the first. I've only seen the first season of Beastars, which I'm not gonna lie, I did kind of like it. But at the same time, it was like this is just straight up Zootopia. It's Zootopia done right. <laughs> <laughs> oh gosh. Oh man. Like, it's it's more like Zootopia for adults. Yeah, there you go. Oh, gosh. It tackles the stuff Disney never had the balls to do. I mean, you're probably right. There's straight up a character that gets eaten. Yeah, that's true. That is very much true. And it's definitely, you, you got the black market, which was even more darker. It's like, whenever I saw that part, I was like, I mean, it's one thing to get, like, organs and stuff like that, but this is just straight up a meat market. And it's like, that's yeah. very disturbing. That's very disturbing. <laughs> also, I've, I've compared this with a bunch of my other friends. Now it's your turn. Oh, dear. Give me a second. Excuse you. Pardon me. Same character, change my mind. Okay, let's take a look at this, guys. My Little Pony has a wolf character? No, it's uh, it's the design of a person within the community. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay, whoo. All right. <laughs> Lego she is literally just Dr. Wolf as an anime character. Okay. Design wise, you're not wrong. <laughs> but it's like, as soon as I saw that, I was like, they had a wolf character? I did not know that. But it's like, <laughs> since I was. Okay. Oh boy. <sighs> Oh, that says drop. I thought that said Dora. <laughs> <sighs> yes, press A to Dora. <laughs> okay, I know there's a treasure chest. There's that one. I know there's one on the other side. Let's see. There it is.
Pardon me. I forget, how long were we planning to have soft boiled and tater fuzz out in the party? Just until I unlock their, uh, thing and everything. Which is like. I think both tater fuzz, uh, beans, as well as, uh, soft boiled, has a hundred points that is needed to unlock the, uh, last thing on their board at the moment. And then we'll swap them out. Teapot, 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 teapot. Who did we name as teapot? Oh, the elephant, that's right. I had to think for a sec. I was like, what did we name a uh, teapot? Actually, let's go ahead and take a look and see if it's finally at 100. 62, 44. Well, collectively, they make about a total of 100. I think we can get that, uh, number up. By feeding them. We know one of them is gonna get there first. Mr. Picky Eater, not so picky eater. <laughs> picky Eater my ass. He's flake now. Oh, Tater Fuzz is a bouncer. I mean, he's always been a bouncer next to Beans. And speaking of Beans, he's a rascal. Let's see. Almost. There we. Not... What do you mean almost? 150 on this one. Oh. Yeah. I did not recognize that as a five. Okay, that's got beans. Okay. Change party That'd member. Be... It was nice seeing you, beans. And we said teapot, right? Yeah. You can easily swap them over for the time being until this one gets ready. A teapot! <laughs> I think we'll try to get that linked up to where oh that- Oh my gosh, he's enormous. Oh yeah, he's one of the bigger ones. Next to the, uh, Tyrannosaurus Rex. Uh... Is that T-Rex? Yep. As well as the skeleton version of it, which I find odd. Because you got a prehistoric creature followed by a skeletal version of a prehistoric creature, and it's like, that's- that's odd. Huh. Okay. Hey, yeah, hey, yeah. Yeah. Hey, 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 yeah. <laughs> hey, ha, ha. <laughs> Uh, I still find it funny. I don't know if anyone's seen the highlight reel of it yet or not, but I know uh, NPC has seen it. So, uh, I decided instead of leaving it off on a sad hanger where we didn't make the elephant, I decided just to go ahead and show a brief thing for the uh, next following thing. And uh, I showed the part where uh, NPC got excited to finally get the final ingredient needed to make the elephant. It's like, we can finally make the elephant! And then made him blow up. <laughs> I felt it was necessary. And then, and then I imagine the next part's gonna open to us making said elephant. Yeah. There we go. Hang on, where's, where's my fampy flush? Where's my fampy? Where's my fampy? Oh, there he is. I'm hugging him. I'm hugging him. I'm hugging the family. 
Oh, you know what's the place that I realized this kind of reminds me of? What's that? Ultra Megalopolis from Pokemon Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon. Huh. Let me pull up an image. Kind of spawn right in front of me there, bud. Yes. Hang on, wrong link. Oh, we got another balloon ra. Ta-da! Hang on. I'm hanging. I'm also hugging. <laughs> Let's take a look. And this was in... Uh... Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon. Huh. It is the home world for the Pokemon Necrozma, Poipole, and Naganoddle. It is definitely Tron-esque. Very much so. Especially this thing right here is... It's got Tron written all over it. It's like Tron much? See, that world is... A reality where... The Pokemon Necrozma, aforementioned... Lost all of its power. And in order to reclaim it took the power from the light of that world, thus uh. leaving the residents of that place in eternal darkness. Ooh. Not cool. <laughs> okay, uh, I just thought of something funny. And that would be? Um, you know how Shantae has an elephant transformation, right? Yeah. I'm not just picturing a little kid walking up to her and she's like, Oh, hey, you want something? And the kid's like, I have a question. When you transform into your elephant transformation and drink water from the nose, does it taste like mucus? What? <laughs> <laughs> like, I heard all of that, and I'm, my mind was like... It's a reference to Ice Age 4. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Ooh, Lord. It's like, stop me dead in my tracks. It was just like... Ah! <laughs> like, you, in the highlight reel, you just have a zoom in on you... And you just hear, like, computer noises going on in your brain. Yep. <laughs> Pretty much. <laughs> Hang on, I, I think I have just the sound effect for it. Let me find it again. Oh, cool. That's awesome. Take 
Let me just download the video. Excuse me. Your excuse. Thank you. Hey, yeah. Show in folder. I love my fancy flesh. Alright, now open up DaVinci Resolve. So I'm okay with skipping some of this. Split. Audio. Render Q, render all. This is the noise I'm picturing being used in the highlight reel. <laughs> oh, hang on, I need to get a version of it that's slightly altered. And I'm also going to send the file in the call context for you to use for okay. future reference. Okay. 
Actually, I think I'm gonna send it to you privately. Okay. That way it doesn't get lost. <coughs> So I forget, are we able to make more than one of the same Dream Eater? I mean, not that there's any reason to do it, but yeah, you can. Okay. What benefit would there be to do that? I mean, I hadn't really tried it before, but... This would actually take a little bit of explanation to do, but I'll try to explain the best that I can. So, the Dream Eaters themselves, having two of the exact same doesn't really do anything major battle-wise. They're more based on, like, the abilities and status. So... Ah. We have three categories in terms of the abilities. You have this first set... Yeah, this first set right here. And so, you see the blue out ones? Yeah... Technically, we've unlocked them. They're from another Dream Eater. So, depending on which Dream Eater set you have, depends on the overall ability slot that you have in terms of like say for example boost endurance so on and so forth so it works kind of similarly to unlocking characters in smash ultimate yeah in a way yeah then you have the second set which are perma equipment meaning that as soon as you unlock them through fairies of dream eaters they're permanently attached to your character Okay. And then you have the second set, which really is kind of the same way as the first one. They're permanently unlocked as you go through the story and everything. But, while these two wouldn't matter in terms of Dream Eaters, more or less just unlocking the abilities as you go through them and stuff, this second set would probably be more akin in terms of like what type of endurance you would have based on the Dream Eaters themselves. So say, for example, you had like three uh, Meow Wows, which is beans, obviously, if you had three of the same. You wouldn't get much out of this, sadly, because oh. both, all three of them would have the exact same, and it would just be just those abilities that you would have in terms of endurance. So it would be a, um, what's the word I'm looking for? unbeneficial towards the fight itself. It'd be unnecessary. Bingo. Because I was thinking of another name that would work well for the Zolophant. Interesting. Snuffy. <laughs> uh, cute. Cute name. So did we, did we unlock all of the stuff Soft Boiled has? Yep, both Tater Fuzz and Soft Boiled has been fully unlocked. Okay, uh, let's... Oh, I was gonna suggest we go for Sean next. Oh, Sean? Okay. We haven't done anything with Sean, so yeah, that makes sense. And then... You know what, why not MJ? Yay! Okay, so, where are we at? Ah, here we go. <laughs> I'm now just reminded of another thing that I... Just going off of what I was thinking. It, it's Ice Age related again. Uh, this time it's the third film. Oh, okay. So, Manny and Ellie were thinking of what to... What to name the, uh... 
like what what to say to initiate like like a code name for when the baby was coming oh yeah and they suggest like they, they suggest Manny suggests peaches and yeah. Ellie was like peaches well think about it they're fuzzy and round and then Ellie was like you think I'm round and then like, Manny's like having to stammer a bit he's like wait no wait uh, round round's good round <laughs> is foxy <laughs> I only thought of this because I realized that we have two round boys. Oh, uh, yeah, we do. We do. Well, Sean's really the only round. Pure round. Like, yeah, like, teapot's round-ish. <laughs> teapot's just wanting to get out of here. <laughs> yeah, it's like, are we ready to move on? Yeah. Uh... Of course, we'll have a boss fight, if I'm not mistaken. You sure will find and since we're over level, technically, this shouldn't be a major problem, I hope. Yeah, this should be a real breeze. Even with us having underleveled Dream Eaters. Maybe Clue has it with him. Sora, let's look elsewhere. All right. Hmm. Wait, Cora. Let me talk to Rinsler. A little heart to heart might jog his memory. He's a program, Sora. Programs don't have hearts. So it says the series true. of Kingdom Hearts, huh? <laughs> I remember. He had something. Hey, you used to be called Tron, right? Clue did something to you to mess with your memory. You're a little confused, but that's okay. Come on. Remember, Tron. I don't think Rinsler is quite the friend you remember. He just needs you think help. that's all. Quora. Tron, don't! Tron. Of course it isn't the Tron that you remember. This is That's the true mean. world that your the Tron came from back of our as a basis. Or in your case, the most precious hearts? Not you again! <laughs> the memory and heart tightly linked. Samus! Rub a few memories together, and you get a spark of emotion, a feeling. But in a digital world, memory does not work like that. Nothing is ever felt. You can hold a thousand, a million times the information, but there is still no heart with which to parse it. Once, my master, Ansem, found an old system and made a copy of its master control program and used it to serve his own ends. This is the original data of that system. Here, data can be copied. Memory can be changed and easily manipulated. Tron is a digital entity, so why would oh he... Oh god, he's multiplying. He obeys the rules of this world. Sora, what about you? Me? Your heart, memories, your data, and your dreams. The bits and bytes that have made up your life so far. Can you say for sure they are not just copies of I someone still else's? find it stupid how they were able yes. to track him down. My memories and feelings oh, I know. Just because he had a letter X on his chest. 
Make certain the box's contents match what's on the label. Since you have been chosen. Chosen for what? You think this is the realm of dreams, but there you are mistaken. Data does not dream, cannot dream. <laughs> This world is real. You haven't the slightest idea where you are. That you have already wandered off the path. What do you mean? Hey, what's Sora's least favorite antivirus? Oh dear. What that would be. Norton. I don't know how. I don't know how. You did that. But that was so so perfect oh my gosh i don't know how you're doing this mech but you are just on top of it oh my <laughs> gosh oh man oh lord almighty what are you crying i'm laughing and trying to hesitate laughing harder Oh gosh. Waiting, Sora. I've been waiting. Who are you? I am Clue. So it was you. You're the guy who turned Tron into Rinsler. Correct. I had to repurpose his code. Well, unrepurpose it. <laughs> yes. Under the right parameters, I might. Huh? You have a little item called a keyblade. It can open any lock, isn't that right? Hand it over, and I'll change Rinsler back into Tron. You know, if he wasn't such a pure heart, no pun intended, he probably could have just said, okay, here you go, and then pull it back to him. Yeah. everyone happy. Flawed reasoning. I'll have to take it by force. Why can't I get through to you? Fight, Sora! Cora! You're okay! I can't believe it! Yes, I think Tron heard you. Long enough for me to escape. You can do it! You can get through to him! Might want to get off the Sora, floating platform that you're on. But, Cora, how can I. You have that key, it will bring him to his senses. May your heart be your dying key. <laughs> Let's go, Tron. Although this fight music is pretty on par epic. The baby elephants. Yes, you are. So glad we're getting to ride on top of Teapot. <laughs> I figured we needed to do that at least once for you. <laughs> Especially as Sora. I believe Riku's like a water element attack rather than doing what Sora does. Oh my gosh. The name Teapot works perfectly then. Teapots boil hot water. Disc or jam? Disco jammer. Yeah. 
Well, I'm pretty sure that this movie's prequel took place in the 70s, so... Yeah. <laughs> That'd be rather fitting. That'd be kind of cool if the keyhole happened to have been Rensler. Yeah. I know technically it would have been copying how it uh, ended for the main movie, but I would have loved it if they had done like a little thing where you heard Tron's voice and he calls out for Sora. Hmm. That would have been nice. I mean, that's technically how he ended in uh, the uh, movie, where he's like, I am for the users, and you heard Tron's voice. Hmm. Would have been nice. I have to retrieve Rinsler. He reached for my hand. Tron is still in there. You and that key have a special power. So do you. Power to make me see it. So, does that mean we're friends? Of course. <laughs> <laughs> What's it like to be friends? <laughs> I don't know. I've never had a best what friend. <laughs> <aren't my own? laughs> no. I don't know. Maybe we're walking the wrong path. But our thoughts will lead us back. Oh, gosh. Do I That's... need to call Daniel? Nah. <laughs> uh, That's still funny to me. I keep forgetting about stuff like that, and then when you enter in that, and it's like all of a sudden, gosh. Uh, Don't forget to grab your dual disc, because exactly one week to Ah, my finger! It came clean off! Somebody call an ambulance! <laughs> Thanks uh, for fixing my hand, Doc. I'm not sure how you did it, but my finger feels good as new. It's not really that complicated. We just replaced your finger with a synthetic replica. Have you ever seen The Empire Strikes Back? No, I don't watch. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, do you by a chance found out what's wrong with Mokaba? Well, we ran some tests on your brother, and it seems he's going through Japanese puberty. Oh my god. Does that mean, yes, I'm afraid that he believes he's a Pokemon? Mokaba, speak to me! Bulbasaur! <laughs> oh, gosh. Why does this music kind of remind me of the Wasteland theme from Epic Mickey? I'm not sure. And now the background's reminding me of Doctor Strange. <laughs> we went from Doctor Who to Doctor Strange. What about that? <laughs> Are you able to heal yourself in these? I mean, if you can, it's not as common. 
Oh gosh. Okay, there we go. I saw that timer and I was like, okay, we need to figure out how to speed down there. Come on, hurry, 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 hurry. What is this, the express? I mean, we're on the internet. My clothes. Express VPN. The dream eater. <laughs> no. Let's see how this Oh gosh, out. Marty. I forget, who'd you say would have been a harder contender for the wild card? Harder contender for the wild card? Like between me and Daniel? Uh. Ooh. Only because I hang around with him 24 7, it would be Daniel probably more likely. Like I said, some of the stuff he comes off with is so random. <laughs> But then again, if I was to hang out with you 24-7, I'm pretty sure you would be par close. It'd be like a 1% difference. Parked close, but I don't have a driver's license. Are you a prisoner? Yeah. It looks that way. Name's Sam. I'm Riku. Where are we, Sam? We're on the grid. That's one way to open it. Yep. You're in luck. Mm -hmm. Only a precious few are granted light cycle battle privileges. Okay, it might just be because so of Guardians of the Galaxy, oh. but I'm imagining the montage of when they're in prison being the song Hooked on a Feeling. Uh, it works. <laughs> I'm now just picturing that opening bit where it's the, where it's, where Sam says, we're on the grid, and then as the intro bit for the grid logo pops up, it's I'm hooked on a feeling. <laughs> I'm unbelieving <laughs> that you're in love with me. <laughs> oh, show you. Gosh. How hard can it be? Future Blackcross, please put that in the highlight reel. <laughs> Hopefully copyright will not be a problem. If we don't have that song, maybe like a... Uh, maybe a version of it that's a MIDI file? Hopefully, yeah. Maybe one that's like played on the recorder. I'm actually gonna look that up to see if there exists such a thing. Oh my god, it does. 
Oh gosh. Well, we're using that one. <laughs> <laughs> Anyone that liked it, that song, I fully apologize. I was about to say, how long is this going to take? Ooh, heartless boss. What heartless? Heart nobody boss. Not nobody, Dream Eater. It, what you said. I meant to say Dream Eater. Uh. I mean, if you really think about it, I'm pretty sure that the nobody, well, not the, the the dream eaters are like their own class of heartless, right? I guess, yeah, you make a good point. Like, Yetsu did say that there was a specific form of darkness that these worlds are in. Yeah. He made the shape of a heart. <laughs> Riku! You made it. You escaped from the games. Yeah. I know a way off the grid. Wanna come with? Not to be confused with the games! No. You go ahead. Wait. That's completely separate. <laughs> Through the portal. Completely different. Portal? Yeah. It's like a gate that opened when I came here. Once I'm back in the real world, I can delete Clue. And then... Then my dad will be able to come home. Your dad? He vanished. Twenty years ago when he came here to the grid. But because he needed to protect his disc from Clue, he went into hiding. And he's been trapped there ever since. But I'm gonna change that. Oh, hi, MJ! You came to see Sam. us again? You mind if I go with you after all? To the portal? Sure. Hi. I'll take what help I can get. But first there's somebody I need to meet. He's in the city. I tried to get back, but I... I couldn't get to the portal. It uses massive power, and it can't stay open forever. And like a safe, it, it can only be open from the outside. It closed on me, Sam. That's why I never came home. So the portal, it activated when I came in. So it's open now. Not for long. Only one millicycle. About eight hours. So we go now. Go home. We can make a run for it. We get you Sam, out of here. Don't rush. What do you mean, don't rush? The portal's gonna close. My disc is everything, Sam. It's the master key. The golden ticket. The way out. And not just for me. What do you mean? Our worlds are more connected than anyone knows. Clue figures if I can be in... You can be out? With my disc, it's possible. And then what? Game over. 
guy doesn't dig imperfection. What's more imperfect than our world? I can't let that happen. I won't. So what do we do? Nothing? It's amazing how productive doing nothing can be. Clue is planning something. We've known that for a while. It's his game now. The only way to win is not to play. Yeah, well, that's a hell of a way to live. See, he said hell. <laughs> Sometimes life has a way of moving you past things like wants and hopes. That's great, Dad. Told you that there was an instance in this Keep game that it happened. That. Yep. Good night, Sam. Of course they have it with Riku. And not to Sora. Riku's just looking at Sora, he's like, I learned about the word hell. <laughs> What's hell? I mean, uh... It's another word for the underworld, Sora. Oh, okay. I wonder how Hades feels about that. Uh, just, just don't. <laughs> don't, don't, don't treat the thought, okay, Sora? Okay, Riku. <laughs> oh, gosh. Kyrie's just looking at him like, boys. I almost got myself turned around all of a sudden. some time till I get back. Oh, Riku will kill time. Glad I get to fight more than boredom. <laughs> Did you level up Yogurt and Gogurt off screen? Yeah, I unlocked it, their command bore fully off screen as well. Okay. I was like, I need to try to unlock more of uh, the abilities later on, so that way it'll be a little bit easier for us. I mean, record, yes, we are technically over leveled uh, in terms of the grid and everything like that, but I mean, I figured to help us out. You know what I kind of feel like would be cool to have happen to help out with leveling up stuff? What's that? You end up getting the Dream Eaters level gauge up by playing many games with them. Sadly, that's not the case, or otherwise I would have played through the uh, Rush uh, Cup thing. Well, Cup Thing and his pal. <laughs> his pal. Um, his pal. <laughs> Did I get you stumped? His pal is stumped. <laughs> What? Oh gosh. <coughs> Sam! Who's this? I'm Riku. 
Sam and I were on our way to the portal. Come with us. Where are we headed? The portal. But we need a solar sailor. There's one in the underground docks. Wait, the wet sailor? The solar sail. It's those giant boat things that hover in the air and stuff. Oh. Your disc. Dad. It's gone. It is. She's stable. We have to go back. Clue will use it to reach the outside world. I can stop him from destroying it if you just let me do this. You've done enough already. So what do we do now? I don't know. Nothing. We do nothing. Be still. Wait. We can hop a solar sailor. A full-on sprint to the portal. We can beat Clue there. Let's get her out of here. So, did you level up any of the other Dream Eaters off-screen to the max? Um, not any of the new ones we haven't, uh, done yet. Okay, so we still haven't shown Pudding off yet. I mean, we've already unlocked all the abilities of Pudding, technically. I thought we were gonna at least see every single one of them on the battlefield. Let me check and see just to make certain. Yeah, I did. I'm waiting on Gogur to finally uh, level up to where I can unlock that one. Oh. Which, what level is he at? He's a leader. Okay, one more level. The second he gets to level uh, 19, or level 19, level 20, that will unlock the ability. But yeah, I unlocked it all of uh, Puddin's uh, abilities that could be unlocked, so... Oh. I'm still waiting on Gogurt. It's just taking a while to get to level 20 for him, apparently. He doesn't want to go. <laughs> Gert. Yeah, the K.O. Kabuto looks like a combination of Heracross and a star-nosed mole. Huh. Auto-destruct. Can't wait until we unlock the hot tub penguin.
unlock. Bit tight in here, isn't it? Half of me kind of wanted to bring Zidget back for this, but then I remembered, hey, this isn't the same world. No, it's not. It's just different. <laughs> also, I thought of a way to incorporate Zidget to, in the... Uh, in with Ansem, because... Ansem takes on the name Diz. That is true. And Diz, if you say it in reverse, sounds like Zid. Oh. Zidjit. Interesting. I think it'd be interesting to... I don't know. Would... Would you say that... Riku would use the owl more than Sora? I guess that would depend on what uh, the owl would be able to perform. Okay, that looks like the Pokemon Glimora. Ugh. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Is she gonna make it? I don't know. But didn't you write her code? Some of it. But the rest is just beyond me. She's an ISO. ISO? A whole new life form. Isometric Forest exercise. Care to join ISO. me? Why is there smoke coming out of your oven, Seymour? You created them? <laughs> They manifested like a flame. They weren't really, really from anywhere. The conditions were right, and they came into being. For centuries, we've dreamed of a pure existence beyond our own. I found them in here, like flowers in a wasteland. They were spectacular. Everything I'd hoped to find in the system, control, order, perfection, none of it meant a thing. The ISOs, they were going to be my gift to the world. There, good as new. It's going to take a while for our system to reboot. So what happened to your gift? Clue. Clue happened. He was built to create the perfect system. Dr. Clue. But his potential can never, ever be fully realized. Clue saw the ISOs as an imperfection, so he destroyed them. He screwed up. No. He's me. I screwed it up. Chasing after perfection. Chasing after what was right in front of me. Right in front of me. Look too hard for one thing, and you miss everything else. And then, the people around you get hurt in the process. Like Xehanort, his single-minded thirst for answers created Ansem. We all have a little of that curiosity in us. So if we're not careful, any one of us could create an Ansem. <laughs> Great! They found us! We've been put on a new course. <laughs> she just poke her head out at the corner. <laughs> Goodbye. Cora, oh, oh, no, wait. Oh. Oh. 
She's removing herself from the equation. We can't just let her go. Yeah. No. Hold on, Sam. What about getting you to the portal? You shut them down from the outside. But Cora comes first. And we still have to get back your disc. Sam, if you chase two rabbits, you won't catch either. If this is a father-son thing, I won't butt in. But we should probably get back that disc at least, before Clue uses it to destroy the outside world. Come on, Sam. Right. Meet me on the flight deck, and get us some wheels. Wheels? What's your plan? I'm a user. I'll improvise. <laughs> Riku, I gotta save Korra too. I know. We will. <laughs> the dish should be somewhere on the throne ship. I saw it dock here earlier. So what's the Tron what franchise have in common with the Avatar series? Right. The Avatar as in the blue aliens? No. Oh, Korra, I gotcha. <laughs> I didn't need to say it. It took me a sec, because it's like, as soon as you said Avatar, it's like, either he's referring to the blue aliens, which would make more sense because of Disney and all, or he's referring to the last airbender, and then I thought to myself, it's like, okay, if it ain't that it's airbender, but why would he... Oh... It's like, I see what you mean. This is one of the few times you finished my joke for me. <laughs> Very few times. <laughs> Pardon me. MJ's just fallen asleep on my knee. Nope, never mind. She woke up. <laughs> it's like, fall asleep, my ass. <laughs> She heard your name, and so she perked up. Yeah. <laughs> you know, come to think of it, it's been a while since we've been able to create a Dream Eater. Yeah, I was gonna ask when exactly we were gonna do this. Go ahead and make a new one. That way we can uh, at least say we did get one in. Uh, finally, he I leveled mean, up. I say that we replace Gogurt with whoever we create we making. Yeah. Okay. It was nice getting to see you in action, Gogurt. We have options. Escargoon. Escarglo. <laughs> It's what it's called. So it's not going to be far off from its namesake. <laughs> I just want a Kirby reference. Fair point. And he's already level 20. Mm -hmm. Oh, I just thought of something funny. What's that? Replace Cinnamon in your party with him. As Cargoon? Yeah. So, S... It's... O-O-N. O-O-N, gotcha. I was gonna say it's like... Goon. I forgot. And it's like, okay. That one's actually one of the more easier names we could rename it to. It's already got the first part. We just had to change the last part. Yeah. But yeah, you swap out S Cargoon. You swap cinnamon with escargoon. Okay. So re replace. Uh... No, like you, you still have Gogurt here since he's maxed out, but like on the battlefield, it's escargoon instead of cinnamon. Oh, I gotcha! I gotcha! I gotcha! Okay. There we go. Now we have escargoon and King Dedede.
Why am I streaming again? <laughs> I sensed regret in those words. It's like, my creative palette is practically all white. Yours is just a rainbow of reference. Like, as soon as you said that, I was like, why didn't I pick that up? After all, the name for Escargoon was from Kirby, so it makes sense. Uh. <laughs> a rainbow of reference. I was not expecting you to get so profound. <laughs> <laughs> Escargoon's pretty s speedy for a snail. Kinda is, yeah. He's like, wait for me, master! Heh! <laughs> All he's gotta do is warp, and he's like, I'm here. I learned how to do warping in my spare time, your majesty. <laughs> this probably sounds nothing like Escargoon from the Kirby anime, but it's the best that we got. Uh, it's perfect. <laughs> Don't even get me started with King Dedede. It's just Yosemite Sam. You're not wrong. I didn't even realize it, but you're right. <laughs> I mentioned it when we were fighting Xemnas in Kingdom Hearts 2. How do you not remember this? Been a couple of weeks. <laughs> Apparently. Uh. It's not easy keeping up with time, you know. <laughs> that was, uh... Wow, your majesty, I never took you for being the scatterbrain type, but alas. That was so mean, I am so sorry. <laughs> oh, come on, I gotta have my naps here and there, you know? I was not meaning to burn my co-host here. <laughs> <laughs> For the sake of improv, I don't mind it. <laughs> so wait, if the Ice Queen's King Dedede and Escar Glow is Escar Goon, is Sir Cryo the equivalent to Meta Knight? I guess so. Huh? So I guess if there's room, we're naming that one Meta Knight or something like that? Or would the Komori Bat work as one of those because of Meta Knight's ability to fly? And his wings being bat-like. True. True. But we've already made a bat and there isn't another bat, so... I just popped my shoulder. Ooh. Yeah, it's like all of a sudden it just randomly popped and it's like, ow. <laughs> DJ Groups is like, la 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 if it wasn't for the fact that I get stuck in the ice as well, it's very handy to tr uh, get to the uh, enemies and stuff. Mm. I forget, you got why I asked to have him be called DJ Grooves, correct? The what? You remember why I had the Ice Gwen referred to as DJ Grooves? I have forgotten if you've mentioned it. It was in reference to a hat in time. Oh, that's right. Yeah, you did. You did. I just forgot. <laughs> what are you doing here? To the flight deck. But Clue will be here any minute. We'll never make it. Don't worry. Riku's here to help. <laughs> it's 
Sorry, no room. <laughs> it's like we never did think about programming a fourth seat. <laughs> I could ride in the back of the back. <laughs> I mean, I just pictured me sh shoved in the trunk like Gantu was. <laughs> Gosh. <sighs> yeah. Yeah. Wrong button. There we go. Another block were you trying to thing. Have it, were you trying to have it pop the balloons on the crystal? Not intentionally. Oh, that was actually one of the easier ones. You didn't need to move at all. Either that or I just got lucky with my blocks. Uh, Pardon me. Easy. Gosh. Been a little belchy today. Yeah. Hey, I dropped me nut. Deer that shoot lasers out their antlers. Uh, the ones that we have? I don't remember. I think it's only in the Tron area where they do have it. Okay. I may be wrong, but I'm pretty sure. Good. What does? The backdrop when you were doing the save state. Oh. This? Yeah. Color contrast a... is definitely nice. Yeah, it's a really nice looking magenta. Mm hmm? Or is that maroon? I honestly couldn't tell you. It's a pinkish purplish looking color. That's all I know. So I have no idea as to, like, the specifics. Hello there. This is mine. Had a feeling you'd be here. You! You promised that we would change the world, together. You broke your promise. I took the system to its maximum potential. And now... You see the applications at my disposal! I don't believe it. You can leave this one to me. Good. How long have we been streaming for? Um, it's been about an hour and 40 minutes. Oh, okay. So, uh, how are you enjoying President's Day? Eh, it's been alright. I forgot that it was President's Day. Yeah, I, I feel like it's just one of those days that's kind of an afterthought in the grand scheme. I mean, it's more uh, just a uh, bank holiday, technically, when you think about it all. Uh-huh. 
bank and food pantry. I guess in that same sense, it's more of a, a governmental holiday type thing. How is it that with Riku, we're just swamping these guys like nothing? Well, we did come in over leveled. That is true, but even still, it's like with Sora, even though we were over leveled, it take it took us a while to get a uh, Rensler down. With Commandus, it's just all of a sudden, one second, it's HP, almost gone, and it's like, what the, what, what are we doing? Yeah, what it just goes. It, it just basically goes. Yep. I created the perfect system. The thing about perfection is that it's unknowable. It's impossible. But it's also right in front of us all the time. You wouldn't know that because I didn't when I created you. I'm sorry, Clue. I'm sorry. Remember what you came for. <laughs> Perfect distraction. <laughs> Ouch. No. No. Why? He's my son. Go! Dad! Sam! It's time! No! Sam, it's what he wants. I'm not leaving you! Take her! Don't even think about it. So this guy be this world's equivalent to God. I I don't know. That's a... What? I mean, if he mentioned that he created this world... The portal is I mean, gone. yeah... Here... I These guess that's that connect not worlds. wrong? Maybe when we pass through them... We're challenged... And changed... Oh, shoot. Not Does over. that mean that... There are more trials ahead we have to overcome. Ansem and Xehanort are considered gods to space paranoids? We'll ready. No. I don't think it would work the same way. Okay. Oh, 
He'll be just fine as long as Riku's with him. Uh, huh? You don't think? No! Master Yen said! Look! It's a raven! Oh! That raven is malevolent. Raphael. What's the that? No, wait, not Raphael. Mm. Diablo. Why, that's Minnie's. Well? Huh? Gorge, what's it say? It's from Maleficent. She's kidnapped Minnie. She took Queen Minnie? The letter says for me to return to Disney Castle, or else. Mickey, there is no time to waste. Okay, you fellas stay here. King Mickey, we're going with you. <laughs> Gosh, uh, I guess you're right, pals. We friends need to stick together. Master Yen Sid, we'll be back. Mm. Okay, I kind of half want to see... Like, if this ever gets a full-on remaster or something, unlike the final mixes, we get, like, a side content story where we play as Mickey with Donald and Goofy as our partners helping out to rescue Minnie from Maleficent. That would be cool, but something tells me I sincerely doubt we'll ever get that. Timing is too perfect, too calculated. Maleficent must sense a change in the forces of darkness. A change like Xehanort. And the next worlds that we unlock... Won't be until we get back to uh, Trevor's town. Oh. Yeah, so what happens here is that in the next stream, we'll be going back to Traverse Town as both Riku and Sora to do a segment on that. And then oh. once that's done, we unlock the next set of worlds, which will be the Land of the Musketeers and then uh, whatever the Fantasia. Fantasia. Yeah, the Fantasia portion is called. It's something else. Symphony of something. Silly symphonies. Now it's something else. It's not that. It's not that easy. I know. I, I swear, if it ends up being that, I'm gonna be like, they had one chance to be creative, and they just straight up copied it. <laughs> but do you want to wanna make one more dream eater before we go? Eh, why not? Let's go ahead and uh, head back here, and then we'll. See what we can create. Because we still have options. We can either go with what we have unlocked, or we can go for whatever we free roam we can create. Well, we already did one that we unlocked, so might as well have be one that we can just crap shoot. What the hell is that? That is a bunny. I kind of want to name that one Bonnie because of Delmar. Okay. Half of me was also kind of wanting to see if the if the tub win ace was there too. Oh, okay, sure. But like we we could still make that one as well. Oh. What the? That's the other one. Oh. Wait, I... why is the why was there an exclamation point? So whenever there's an exclamation point. That usually means there's a good chance that something else will be created instead. Oh. Like, there's a possibility you could still make the Dream Eater you're going for, but then there's, like, a smaller chance that something else will pop up instead. Okay. There's the Tanuki one right there. Oh. 
And there's the fish. I forget, did we unlock the fish last time? Uh, I want to say we did, and you called it Fin Fatale. I... I don't remember. Like, I remember doing the owl. don't think we've got it yet. Alright. So, alright, so we're gonna... Alright, Bonnie it is? Yep. Alright. So let's see here. There it is. Okay, it also kind of reminds me of Terrier Mon. Thankfully, we do get a second, uh, different rabbit. So we can name that one Terrier Mon if you want to. Alright. We can but, name this one Bonnie. Which is B O N N I E? Yeah. Also, just because of it being named Terrier Mon, we need to make the second one in the grid. It's B-O-N-N-I-E. I don't know if we have the second one available. We can check, though. I hope you like this, Daniel. <laughs> Excuse me. Okay, I saw the fish. What did, does it show us the name? Uh, no, cause that's the uh, ingredient to make it. Oh. Yeah. Hang on, and I'll show you uh, from the party menu that we have. Okay. Well, what the- what was that? What was what? In the last one that we were looking through. That? What was- yeah. That's the, uh, RR seal. Oh. Yeah. I don't think we have access to unlock the other rabbit at the moment right now. Okay. But we will keep that, uh, noted. Hopefully, anyway. But yeah, uh, let's see. Yeah, there it is right there. Okay. We named it Sinker, right. Because hook, line, and sinker. Did we? I thought we... No, that was the creature name. We named... You named it Sinker. Okay. Huh. I honestly don't... Why did I think we named it, uh, Fin Fatale? Oh well. Mixing up things. Uh, real easy, apparently, I guess. <laughs> you, you think maybe we could also see how the paint gun works? Oh, sure. I kind of want to try it out on Escargoon because. Okay. One moment, and we will do that. Alright, so let's see. Toy. Pink gun. What color do you want them to be? Uh, I think gray is the closest we could get to making them look like the actual colors. So, black then, right? No, I said gray. Well, the, it's not. The, the it's color next to blue. It's not really a color. It's just an empty slot. Oh. Yeah. So. 
Well, uh, maybe light blue then. Okay. Like either that or purple. Trying to be careful not to paint the others. Well, that that's sort of looking close. If it would turn around, maybe. <laughs> He's like, I want paint too! I'm about to paint you red! Uh. <laughs> maybe we could go with paint on cinnamon. Alright, what color would you want him to be painted? Uh, Maybe if we made him look a bit darker. How would, how would that look? How's that look on him? It's so, it's okay. What about Ascargoon? Yeah, I'd, I'd say that works. Oh, look at Cinnamon, he's sleeping! <laughs> he's like, time for nap. <laughs> oh, we should have made him yellow to look like Winnie the Pooh. Let's see how that would work then. Oh, well. Okay, there we go. Now. Kind of gold, actually, when you think about it. He's like fresh out of the oven. <laughs> Cooked to a golden brown. <laughs> uh. Alright, I think we got the color that we want for them for the time being right now. So... And at least we did create two more Dream Eaters, which we'll probably end up being able to create more at the start of the next stream. So, we got Why any... Why are they sparkling? Huh? Oh, because we're at the save point. Why are they sparkling? See? Oh. Okay. Yeah, it's... Because every save point, it heals you. So I imagine that's why they're glowing. It just heals them. Yeah, so... At any rate, though, uh, have we got anything planned going on for tomorrow? No, it should be smooth sailing ahead. Okay, so tomorrow we should be doing a normal stream then. So, at any rate, though... <laughs> DJ's just trying to go away. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but at any rate, though, uh, this is me and NBC... Oh, uh, in uh, God. Not again. Wow, okay. This is... Black Cross and NBC Mechachu signing off. If you need to make it easier on yourself, you could just refer to me by Mechachu. I usually refer to you as Mech, so Mechachu it is. So, anyway, we'll see you tomorrow then. Bye. Catch you later. <laughs>